The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. The Lord Jesus ascends in the sight of his disciples to the right hand of the Father. The night before he died, he prayed, Father, give me the glory I had with you before the world began. Our Lord had glory from all eternity in the presence of the Father. So what then was different on the day of the ascension? What was different? As he ascended back to the Father, what did he have that he didn't have before? The Lord was always in eternal glory, but now, now, he was in that glory in our human nature, with a human body, with a human soul. The same humanity shared by every member of the human family, every born and unborn member of the human family, no matter how old or young, dependent or independent, no matter how healthy or sick, rich or poor, intelligent or not. No matter what background, no matter what ethnicity, no matter what characteristics, no matter what beliefs, the same human nature shared by the child growing in the womb, by the disabled person lying in a hospital bed unable to communicate, the same human nature shared by Terry Shiva, the same human nature shared by the immigrant, by the poor dying today for lack of food and shelter, the same human nature shared by our brothers and sisters on death row, or those who live in war-torn parts of the world and cannot have a sure hope of surviving to the end of the day. The same human nature, oppressed, discriminated against, thrown in the garbage, dismembered by abortion. The Lord Jesus Christ, in his ascension, takes our one human nature to the heights of heaven and therefore makes it forevermore impossible for anyone to invoke his name and turn their backs when that human nature is being trampled upon. Makes it impossible for anyone to claim to be his follower and to be pro-choice on abortion. Makes it impossible to proclaim the gospel and to forget the unborn at the same time. He is ascended and therefore has opened for us the gates of heaven. Gates not made of gold, Gates made of human flesh and bone and blood. The humanity that Christ has forevermore. And before he ascended, he said to his apostles, Go therefore into all the nations. Make disciples, baptize them, teach them to carry out everything I have commanded you, and know that I am with you until the end of the world. He sent them. He sends us. As we celebrate and meditate on his ascension, we reflect that we have a commission, that we go into the world to proclaim the gospel of life, not because we consider ourselves better than anyone else, not because we want to control the lives of anyone else, not because we want to impose our morality on anyone else, but because a truth has already been imposed on the world, on the universe, by the word of God when he first created it. Truth has already been imposed on us and we have been sent. We do not go into the world on our own authority. We have been sent and therefore we can proclaim our message and build this culture of life and confront this culture of death not with the slightest bit of false pride and not with the slightest lack of confidence. Our Lord ascended to heaven 
And now, where he has gone, we can hope to follow.